What you looking at? Here's an old air compressor somebody gave me. It was an electric driven air compressor. It had a flywheel on it. You can see the belt groove in the center of the flywheel. The first thing I thought of when I saw it was a steam piston engine. Today I've got my input valve and timing all set up. We'll still need to put the exhaust valve and stuff all on here. I've got a standard air chuck right here just going directly into the cylinder. So that's our steam into the engine. And to time all that, all I have here is a hole drilled in the handle of the air chuck. You're going to want two nuts on the bolt going through there and you want to leave a little bit of slot between them otherwise that's going to stiffen up and this is how you adjust your timing of just how long it stays open and when it shuts off down here off of the center of the flywheel i have a bolt i just offset at the right mark so that way i had just enough stroke to open and shut the valve here you don't want to go too far off center to do that it's a pretty short stroke to absorb the extra in there and i have a little cradle or horseshoe and if i rotate this so you've got this dead zone down here after it goes past top dead center it turns off the valve and it stays off during the exhaust portion of the stroke comes up just past top dead center opens back up the valve blasts the air through you can see that all running together here there we go so once our exhaust valve is set up just right we'll be able to have a good working steam engine See, I've just got my finger over the end there. Letting a little bit of it out, because if you close it off, it'll stop it like that. Get it going. Give yourself just a little bit of back pressure. And there's your compressed air or steam engine running on an air compressor. Okay, so I'm now done with the output side of the uh, valving system we needed to incorporate in this. I just showed you it running with just our input valve and my finger over the other side. I've corked off that other side here so uh, no air is coming out of it at all. I've added a T, we've put an elbow in there, and underneath this is another one of these air chucks. So this air chuck's actually turned upside down, and that's our input. This one's right side up. Alright, so let me show you how this is working. At the top end, you can see there's no contact with the uh, rod itself. That bolt's just free sliding through it, and as it comes around at the bottom end, it hits the bottom end of that loop, pulling down. And when it pulls down, it pulls down up here on the valve for our output valve. So it pulls down on it, releases as it comes back up. As you can see right there, a little hard to show you. Comes all the way back around, pulls down on it, and then back up into the open spot of our loop. So here we go. Good little steam engine or compressed air engine. All I have to do now is build a generator for it. Let me go ahead and grab that off of there so you can see the valve. Here we go.
Now that I've showed it to you running, the next stage is to get it to run faster, and that's going to be by putting springs underneath the handles to our air chuck valves here.